Let's go. Biggest hottest DJs in the game, man. DJ Screams. Of course, I got the big homie Mystical in here with me, man. Welcome to the broadcast. Yeah, right here, man. Colonel Loud. Uncle Bird is in the motherfucking building, man. Right K100, right man. The big boss himself, man. OG Benzino. The big homie Cap One is in the building, man. K100, man. Johnny Blaze right here on K100, radio, man. Don't go in the web. Yeah, appreciate you, my homie Young Jock, man, coming through, man. Juvenile, man. Juvie the Great. What's going on with you, brother, man? Oh, Lucci yeah. in the building, man. Just kiss the motherfucking thing. Oh, the homie Trap just went in. You feel Miss, Miss Deb Adney, the queen is in the building. What's up? It's your girl, Tisha Campbell Martin, and I'm rocking with K100 Radio. And the homie Cyber the Kid. What's up, homie? So, again, this is Scotty ATL. Live stream, what up, man? Triple OG, man. The only bigger Reagan in the building, man. What's up, brother? What's running here, right here in the building? Don't, don't go nowhere. Just pause. Man. All right, man. Gorilla Joe is in the building, man. Uh, Introduce up? yourself to our broadcast. Man, they told me checking in live. With the homie DOB in the building. Yo, 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 what's up, man? Shout out to the homie, yo, got here. For sure, man, you know. K100 Radio. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. What's happening, everybody? What's going on? K100 Radio is in the building, man. You know, uh, uh, welcome, everybody. This is another one of our direct line interviews on K100 Radio, man. We got some great lined up for you. We've got a couple of them lined up back to back. We're going to set it off with T Diamonds. But, of course, you know, uh, right now we just got the word right, right uh, not too long ago before we get ready to start this show. And you hear that music in the background. I hope Facebook Live don't take this down because we're rocking out to it. You feel me? But we want to show some love and say um, RIP to Prodigy of Mob Deep. We got the word that he passed today. So uh, RIP to him. Condolences to him and his family and his friends, man. Uh, a hip-hop icon. You know, they put a lot of work in into the game. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? So it's only right that we uh, we had that right in the background as we set this thing off. You dig? RIP, brother. You know what I'm saying? Y'all contributed a lot to hip-hop. Contributed a lot to the game. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and set this thing off. You dig? You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip-hop and R&B. Yeah. K100, you bastards. Right. Roger that. All right, 347-934-0966. That's the number to dollar to the show. I want to test my luck with Facebook Live. I'm going to pull down that uh that background music because you know how they be tripping. You know what I'm saying? Act like they own the world, own all the music. We can't show nobody love on Facebook Live. And we're broadcasting live right now on K100 Radio. K100Radio.com, at K100 underscore radio. Big ups to Instagram Live checking in. Facebook Live, what up? <laughs> if you're listening to this on SoundCloud after the fact, please hit follow. If you're watching on YouTube after the fact, please hit subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our interview. 347-934-0966. That is the number to dial to the show. Again, 347-934-0966. Six six. That is the numbers down to the show. First interview of the day. All right, we gonna set it off. Uh, rightfully so. Representing Harlem is in the building. You know what I'm talking about. T Diamonds. What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> yeah. 
What's happening with you? I'm chilling. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Can you, uh, let me see if I can turn you up a little bit. Uh, get a little bit more volume on you real quick. Uh, what's up? What's good? You can hear me now. I'm good. Yeah, you good. You good. What's going on? Welcome to the broadcast. Okay, cool. Welcome to K100 Radio. Uh, we've, we've, we've Thank chopped you. it up Shout with you before. Y'all. Yeah, well, we, we've chopped it up with you before. You know what I'm saying? It's South by Southwest, but you know, this is official. Yes, uh, I actually know. met Blizzum. Is this Blizzum? Yes, this is. What's going on? What's yes, who's Blizzum? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'm good. It's good to uh, talk to you again. And, uh, you know, this time uh, in, in, a, in a better setting, the focus is all about you. It's all about T-Diamonds right now, y'all. <laughs> all right? Wait. It's all about T-Diamonds, all right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you briefly introduce yourself to the broadcast real quick. Go ahead and tell them who you is, ma. What's up, it's your girl T-Diamond. I'm coming out of Harlem, got a home real New York City. We about to make it work. All right, Harlem is in the building. And we got some music lined up. Got a video lined up for everybody checking us out on Facebook Live. So if you're on Facebook Live right now, uh, stand by. You guys will be able to watch the video uh, also while we're doing this interview. If you guys are on the broadcast listening, of course, you know, you guys are just going to rock out to the music. We got that new, new posted up here waiting for, you know, talking about making it work. You know what I'm saying? We're going to work this thing making out. Making it work. <laughs> yes. All right. Shout out to everybody that's been making it work, man. Absolutely. All the DJs. Well, tell me, tell me, how, how is that going right now? How is that campaign going with the song right now and the single? How's everything working out for you right now with the new joint? Um, it's actually it's like I'm getting a lot of like it's taking off right now. Um, it's getting work. Shout out to all the DJs working up like it, especially the Fleet DJs and Nike DJs and Apple DJs. They all got it on their site. Um, the the videos are now on YouTube, so go check that out. Also, it's on mp3rex.com, thatpip.com, nerddj.com, my um, mixtape, that season. And I'm also on my promo tour right now. I'm about to hit Atlanta on July 1st. Um, shout out to Tim and DJ Handcuffs. July 22nd, I'm with the Free DJs Conference in North Carolina. July right. 25th, Major Record Level Showcase in Philly. Shout out to Ski, Will Styles. And then um, July 28th, I'm in Columbus, in Mississippi. Shout out to the Golden State Triangle. And then in August, I'm back in New York or at SOP. So the record is doing pretty good right now. It's taking off. All right, that's what's up. A lot of work being put in. You got to hit the road, baby. You got to hit the yes, road. Yeah, we got to make win. it right. Yeah. yeah. On the road. <laughs> yeah. I hear a couple of those, uh, a couple of those, um, uh, dates like the Fleet DJs and stuff. I probably end up running across, uh, running across you up there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure. You know, we, we rock out with the Fleet DJs. Big up to those guys. Those are good people. Uh, we went to the conference last year and uh, uh, we plan on um, attending this year. So maybe we'll see you up there again. See you hit the stage again. Like yes, yeah, yeah. I hope so. Like, shout out to the PGJ too, though. They've been putting a lot of work in with the records. I appreciate them. Absolutely. All right, that's what's up. Big up to those guys. All right, so the so let's 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 jump into the one on one conversation, T Diamond. All right, okay. you representing you represent in New York. You feel me? Right now, y'all, you know, uh, the, the the females up there. You know, what I'm saying some of them got a little back and forth they got going on. That's representing New York up there. You know, what I'm saying some of the some of the big guns up there. You know, but they but they what not to what have you. You know, what I'm saying. But what is, what what is mm-hmm. it like right now being a uh, up and coming uh, uh, female artists coming out of New York right now. Like, what's the climate for you up there right now? Are they showing you some love? Are they ready for something new? You know what I'm saying? It's, you know what, what do you um, think? I get I get a lot of good feedback. I mean, I guess it's it's gonna be pretty hard whether you like any rapper, female or male. I feel like you're gonna have to put in work, and it's just like the work you put in. Like people is respecting the movement. I think that's what it really is. Like they see you putting in work, people respect them. And then if you got bars on top of that, it makes it a hundred times easier. So. Um, I don't really get discouraged about being a female rapper because, you know, I know I got it. So I just stay positive. I keep putting it work. I'm going to stop me. And then I get my results. That's pretty much the, the formula that you got to stick to. <laughs> Shout out right. to everybody checking us out live. <laughs> as far as Jesus and stuff, I, I try to stay out the way and do my own thing. <laughs> well, you know what? The, the funny thing, the <laughs> crazy thing about it is I, I don't know how many people actually come into the game you know, wanting beef, but it just follows you. It's just kind of, it's really like damn near part of the hip hop culture. I don't know, not, I don't know, like, yeah, that's true. any artist who's never had any beef ever. Like, it's, I don't care who, if you're the nicest person ever, like, at some point, somebody's gonna say, oh, fuck you. They're gonna hate. They're gonna be mad. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's gonna be jealous. So, you know, I mean, it comes with the territory. That's, that's, that's life, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So, hip hop is no exception. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop is no exception. Uh, so, we're gonna move on. All right. K100 Radio. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at K1 underscore radio and follow T Diamonds at it's T Diamonds. All right, with an S at the end. Make sure you uh, pull her up. T Diamonds. All right, make sure you pull her up on Twitter and Instagram. Check her out. Fellas, th- uh, do yourself a favor and do that if you haven't seen her yet. 
Thank me later, fellas. Let them cut it out. Thank me later. Thank me later. All right, so moving on. So so how, how much, you know, uh, how much do you feel you owe to, like, the New York, I want to say, New York culture uh, of, of hip-hop? Like, I, I, there's a lot of artists that's coming out of, uh, uh, of, of New York now who don't necessarily feel the need to actually – uh, have like a quote Harlem sound or or Bronx sound. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like it's pretty much right. like whatever whatever is popping is what they're doing now. Uh, and frankly, a lot of the artists, a lot of artists that's coming out of of that area sound like they came from the south, and they're and they're rapping over production right. that sounds southern. What do you feel about that? Um, I definitely respect the sound, like the hip hop, the way hip hop is to sound more than like now. So I try to incorporate that into the way I rock, like um. Really, that's it. I just try to pay homage to the New York feel, like, when New York sounds like. I do agree that a lot of people from New York coming out do sound down south, so I try to stay away from that, like, the trap beats and stuff like that. And just, like, it's all about bars, like, real bars. So that's why I try to keep it out of it. Everybody always tell me that, like, yo, just stay, stay myself, stay in my lane. Don't ever switch up because in the end it's going to pay off. So that's what I do. All right. Well, so, so like you said you do you do care about the bars i mean because uh, uh, well here's the thing right you know females females have it kind of like twofold you know what i'm saying and we talk about this a lot with, with, with female um uh people that we interview and artists you know you have the you have the the music and then you have the look you know what i'm saying and it, it, the look matters mm -hmm. with, it, the look matters with anybody like it doesn't matter what uh sex you are you feel me you know what i'm saying or what color you are you know uh marketing as far as marketing goes your look has to match up with what you're doing in order for it to work. You know, we we're all, we're all visual now. We live in a visual world. But with women, it's amplified a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the focus on your your looks, your bodies. And sometimes uh, it can help you or hurt you. Like some people may say, you know, you can get away with more if you look better or whatever, or you're more marketable. What do you think about that as a female artist? You know, how much, how much pressure is it for you to look a certain way and you know what i'm saying or how much do you really feel like i don't want people to focus on me my body but more so the music um i don't that's a great question i don't want people to focus on my body at all because i feel like my bars are good enough so like let's just stop and saying that i would never feel like i have to take my clothes up to sell a record i just feel like that don't make sense also um i have people who has told me, like, I need to switch up my look more, I need to be more sexy, but then majority of people respect me because I don't. Like, a lot of people be like, yo, you just say bars. Like, you don't show your ass, you don't show your chest, you don't show nothing. Like, you just want people to respect you for your bars. So when I see that people actually notice that, like, it makes me feel good because it makes me feel like I don't have to take off my clothes to sell a record or for people to like me. Um, so, yeah, I just say it with I feel like it's always going to be people that try to, Say sex sells. I did a freestyle one time, and then it was this guy who covered, who commented under, and he was like, "Oh well, he got the look. Let's start this sex sells." And I'm just like, "Yo, I got on a sweater, jeans, I'm rapid, and that's what you worried about, like sex sells." <laughs> so I'm like, "That's just always gonna come with it." But I just try to stay away from that. Like for as long as I can, I'm gonna try to stay away from that. Right. So uh, I guess, and, and I guess. You, you, you have it you have it you have it twofold you know what i'm saying you have you have both sides of the coin you know what i'm saying you have some people that's, that'll say uh use what you have you was blessed with you know if, if you was blessed with great looks why not you feel me i mean some of our biggest stars in the world and, and let's be frankly the, the the one of the biggest stars in uh hip-hop that's a female right now whether you like her music or not is Nicki minaj you know what i'm saying and you know right now she's going back and forth right and she's fire right you know what i'm saying and, <laughs> so, and so right, right. she's she she's definitely not straying away from her sexuality uh yeah she constantly mm -hmm. talks about uh how bad she is and how good her whatever is and you know what i'm saying uh mm -hmm. you know that's part of her mantra it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a part of yours but i guess i guess in essence you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, people people like to bring that up a lot with female artists. But you know, some some it's kind of hard to separate. To be honest with you, if you're a, it's very hard you know, to separate it. I feel like with us. Yeah, yeah, it it really is. I mean, I, but you know what though? Let's be honest though. Let, let, let me let me ask you this, T Diamonds. When you when you when you see a male rapper like a, who? Give me a male rapper that you think is dope. Like like you just really respect as far as musically, right? Just off top of your head, it doesn't matter who it is. Just give me one male. Jay Z. Rapper. Say it. Say it again. Jay Z. Jay Z. Now, mm -hmm. irregardless of what you think Jay Z looks like now, if, if imagine if Jay Z had that same music and he looked like your favorite male model, you know what I'm saying? Like 
a, a, a male mm-hmm. that you physically find attractive and you just put that together. You feel what I'm saying? Would, 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 it's fair to say that you'd be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It would be, it would enhance his brand for you personally as a fan, yeah. as a female fan. And I think, I, I think essentially that's, I, I think essentially that's what it comes down to when we're talking about, um, you know, females, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, yeah. with, with, when it comes to marketing with us and men, you know what I'm saying? Getting, getting men, to buy into yeah. what you're doing because women women can love you for a whole separate reason you feel me with guys mm-hmm. you know with guys if we're a straight male we don't really give a shit really too much what a guy looks like you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying so all yeah. we list all, see, see, it's a disadvantage all we're listening to is the music because if we're a straight man what a dude looks like is irrelevant to us we want to hear what the hell he's saying yeah. whereas it's it's different you know what i'm saying uh i don't know if it's fair or not but i just think it's the reality that we live in so you know, I, I think you got to, hey, you know what I'm saying? For me, I think it's a plus that you dope and you look good. And then you got, you know, your music and you're grinding and you're working. And we're going to jump into the music in a right. minute. But I think I think you got a winning formula. You feel what I'm saying? Also, remember. Uh, Thank you. Well, I saw you perform also at South by Southwest. So I've, I've, I've seen you perform, too, as well. I didn't know you did. Because I remember you was like, I, went, I haven't been able to catch a performance there. Because every time everybody went up, you was like doing your thing. So I didn't yeah. know if you saw it or not. Yeah, I saw it. I was, I was looking. hoping you did. No, no, I saw it. I was saw it was it was like I was looking because you know where I was sitting at where we were sitting at over there but I actually I wasn't too far away from the stage where I was looking over there also at the same time looking at some of the performances you know right. what I'm saying and we've got the video loaded up here you know what I'm saying where that's all nicely choreographed and everything we getting ready to show these people <laughs> on on Facebook Live that you got popping you know what I'm saying <laughs> we gonna jump into that you know what I'm saying how did you um how did you how did you get with uh tell me about how you got with uh Timo James and uh. You know, how'd you end up on that situation with that tour real quick? Tell me about that. With who? With Timo. Um, so actually I think it was like with the nerve, the Apple Digital DJs. And okay. then I did the a showcase down in Mississippi. I had came out for my own show with in Mississippi with the Shaw Boys. And then after that I ended up doing the showcase and then after that they've been plugging me with a couple things. Like one of the places I'm stopping at for the tour in July is with them too. So Right. That's how. It was the Apple Digital DJ. All right. Yep. Big up to the homie, man. You know, <clears throat> I remember he, 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 he told us that he was going to make this happen and make this uh, interview happen. Uh, we're going to get ready to jump mm-hmm. into the song now. Um, making it work. Tell me about this song. You know, who, who produced it? What, how'd you how'd you cook this up in the lab? You know what I'm saying? Who all worked on it with you? Shout out to the Alex, man. So, Make It Work. This is how Make It Work happened. It's a funny story. So, I had did um, this showcase last year. And then I wanted to get on the radio. So they had basically told my manager, like, all right, just, you know, you give me a little amount and then I'll call on the radio. So that didn't actually go down because I ended up getting the radio from, like, off the stream um, a couple months later and it was going to make it work. But then I didn't really have no singles that I wanted to put out. So my dad went to the attic, shout out to them, shout out to Dope Boy. So my dad went to Dope Boy and he was like, so, um, like, we need a single. I'm going to get home on 105, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, I, I got you. He sent me two songs, and then we fell in love and make it work. Sent me the beat to make it work. I wrote to it. We laid it down. Like, two weeks after it was mastered, it got played on the radio. And then after that, it just started taking off. So it was like a blessing the way it came about. And then it's been taking off since then. It's since January. So top of the year, I made work with make it work, dropped it, hit the radio, made the video two months ago, almost two months ago. So that's how it came about. Well, yeah, that's that's fortunate for you. Uh, I don't want anybody listening and think that just how it's going to go down for you. That don't mean that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Not, that was, that was. Easy, that was like a blessing. I wouldn't even say that was easy. That was a blessing the way it went down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's rare that that just, you know, pops off. Now, you've got, uh, how much work have you put in before we play the song? How much work have you put in? How many other projects you got under your belt uh, right now? Um, I have three mixtapes. Like four videos and make it work is my first single. So I got three mixtapes out there, all on that page. Um, the first one is self titled T Diamonds, the second one is Finesse, and then Bad Season. That's my latest mixtape. All right, yeah. So she's putting in the work, you know what I'm saying? And she's uh, <laughs> she's out here getting it. Like I said, I've, I've seen you, uh, you know, you coming to Atlanta, you're going to the Fleet DJs. I've seen her in Austin and South by Southwest. We're chopping it up with her live right yeah. now on K100 Radio. So if you're going to ask me about you know, uh, what, is it, what does it take to get out here and, and, and win? Uh, it takes this kind of a grind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we're getting ready to uh, play this joint right now. Uh, if you're listening on the broadcast, uh, you guys will be able to uh, hear it. And if you're on um, Facebook Live, you guys should be able to see the video, all right? 
So uh, we're gonna check this out. So uh, three four seven nine three four zero nine six six. That is the number to dial into the show. Hit us up and let us know what you think about that. If you listen, if you're on um, Facebook Live right now, let me know what's popping. Let me know if uh, uh, you rocking with the video, or whatever. Just type in there. Let us know if you're on Instagram Live. Let me know what you think about the song. You dig? All right, let's go. Make it work by T Diamonds. <laughs> You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip-hop and R&B. K100, you bastards! Stop hip hop and R&B. What's up? K100 Radio. 24/7. And we're back, K100 Radio again. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the show. 347-934-0966. That's the number to dial to the show. 347-934-0966. That is the number to dial to the show. That was T Diamonds. Uh, she was out there making it work. Shout out to everybody checking us out uh, right there. Uh, her name is I- at, at is T Diamonds. On Instagram and Twitter, some of the Instagram people was asking, uh, "Who is that?" Uh, if you look on our, if you look on our page on Instagram, you'll see that we just posted this not too long ago. Uh, so if you like that, you should be able to connect with them over there. Uh, just go to look at our uh, Instagram page; you should be able to find it out. Uh, shout out to you guys over here rocking out with us, watching the video over here on uh, Facebook Live. Big ups! Uh, I see a lot of people checking it out. Sherry Green says she likes the flow. Uh, Demetria Thomas says she likes the joint. Word of mouth: Juma Smith says she she's uh she wants to book her. All right, she that's a that's a promoter <laughs> down there um, looking at the uh, Facebook live feed. Say she wants to pro, to promote you. I mean to book you. All right, 
Uh, good stuff. Yeah, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, people are digging the song, T Diamonds. Yeah, that's what's up. Thank you. Oh, that just made me so happy. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, uh, uh, I, I really appreciate everybody who was, uh, you know, rocking out and uh, you know listening uh, to the song and uh, watching it on Facebook Live. Big ups to you guys. We really appreciate it. Um, so, uh, what's next for you? What you got? What you got slated up next? You got a, a another project coming out? Are you going back to hit the lab? Or are you just going out pushing the single? What you got popping? Tell me. I'm doing uh, my diamond waves right now. So right now, up until the end of the year, I'm promoting Make It Work and my mixtape back season. Of course. I'm be dropping a couple songs here and there, but projects, I'm just pushing, make it work in my diamond wave for right now. All right, yeah. I see you had some of the uh, some of the people from MP3 Wax. I was reading the bio and everything about you know all of the people that you got working with. You really got the DJs on your side. That's really gonna uh, serve you well. You know, since having the DJs on your side. The what DJs, is... I, it all starts with them. So I'm always showing them love. Yeah. It starts with the DJs. Like, if they're not playing your record, nobody's hearing it. So I'm always showing love to the DJs. So let, let, me, let me ask you about that. We got a couple of minutes. Let's just chop it up about that as an independent artist. Because, all right, you have you have some artists who, I, for your style of music, for a song like Making It Work or whatever, you're definitely going to need the DJs because of what kind of song it is. But how important do you feel, right. how important do you feel, uh, overall, in this era where you can go directly to the consumer, where you can go directly to, you know, you can take a song straight to Spotify, straight to uh, SoundCloud or whatever it is, your playlist, straight to your website, straight to social media, and you can directly connect uh, with your artists on, on on all kind of different platforms, like maybe blogs or whatever. You know, how, how, how do you feel like uh, the relationship uh, is necessary for all independent artists, not just you, because... It could, it could vary depending on what kind of music you make. You know what I'm saying? If, if if you're not necessarily a person that makes club music where DJs don't play music in the club like that or your brand of music, how important is the relationship to the DJ? What do you think about that as an independent artist? Um, I definitely think, like, social media and, like, just Spotify, um, Apple, all those things are outlets. So it does help, um, especially social media because, like, she's, so people see me like on MPC Wax or something like that. So then it makes them want to go look me up. So then they take me down there, look me up. Like I had people hit me up from all over, like the UK. I had somebody DM me, like come to Baltimore. I'm like, you guys gotta want me in Baltimore first. Like request my song on the radio, and you start laughing. So like, it's a good feeling. But as far as the club, I feel like I get to see people dancing to my music. I get to see people who never heard it for the first time dance to it, and it be like, like I went on a boat ride one time. And they played my Make It Work. So people was dancing, but I was afraid to look up because I'm like, what if people not dancing? And I look like people were dancing every day, first time hearing the song. So I like being in a club vibe more because I get to see people's reaction for the first time hearing it. But I, I also like I appreciate the outlets and stuff like that because it helps me get me out there. Well, yeah, true. I, I guess you can look at it both ways, yeah. I mean, I just know that there, there are right now some artists, you know, uh, the relationships... Uh, that they feel like they need to have with, with, with DJs. Some of them feel like, well, you know, I don't even make that kind of music, so they like, well, I don't necessarily, I need blogger, I need bloggers, and I need, you know, other kind of people more than, because their crowd is necessarily, uh, isn't in the club, per se. You know, they may make a different uh, kind of music. But for this particular song that you have right here, um, I would definitely uh, tend to agree uh, that, yeah, you know, your relationship with the DJs is paramount. You feel what I'm saying? And it looks like you're winning on that end so far. Uh, yes, I had a, I had a DJ tell me make it work. It was a club anthem, and I'm like, that's because of y'all. It's a club anthem because of y'all. Y'all playing it, so like I'm gonna always respect the DJ. Right, uh, which is a good idea, obviously. Yeah, you, you want to make sure you do that. You don't want to piss those guys off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> Let me take a call real quick because I've seen a couple people sitting on the phone lines and I want to make sure they don't want to like give you a shout out or something and uh, uh you know real quick so let me let me see I see the homie Timo James is actually on the line though I'm gonna bring him on real quick uh Timo what's going on bro what's good what's good bro I'm just here letting uh T Diamonds our baby girl get her shine man absolutely what's up man so uh tell me about the uh tell me real quick briefly about you know her coming down and performing on July 1st. And the, and the tour that you got popping real quick. Run that down for us real quick. Okay, well, you know, Atlanta first, we're going to be at our Visions Studio Stages with the uh, world-renowned electric guitarist, Kim G, and the one real DJ Handcuffs, man. Um, You know, shit, Atlanta, this is our third trip to Atlanta. And, you know, they always say three times a charm. Right. <laughs> we, we've had a lot of success. And this time we're looking forward to be 
triple times what it was when we originally started out. And uh, we're happy to have T on. You know, they, they gravitate so to much. the I'm record. Happy. I'm happy to be there. Hey, baby girl, we finna take this thing to another level, so don't you <laughs> trip. Just sit back, relax, and keep doing what it say, making it work. All right. That's what's up, homie. Well, I appreciate you guys for following through, uh, shopping it up with us at K100 Radio. I want to make sure this, this uh, what is 540 number? 540-394. Uh, you on K100 Radio. You want to speak? I don't know. They, they didn't press the number. One. Yeah, that's my partner, Valencia Nash, yo. Women's Empowerment. Oh, I, <laughs> Valencia, you want to speak? You're on the air. If not, I'll keep it moving. Well, I just want to tell she's not she's doing what she's doing. She has a whole team of people supporting her. You know, we actually in Little Kentucky, and we just loving everything that she's doing. So we rock with you. All right. Oh, thank you so much. All right. That's what's up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, look, man, I appreciate everybody who called in today. Uh, Timo, T Diamonds, everybody that's rocking with us. Day. Yeah, you know, making my day. Well, you got some support. <laughs> yeah, you got you got a lot of support. Seems like you got a lot of people that's rocking with you, which is which is which is really important. I think a lot of independent artists just don't understand. Uh, no one is ever gonna make it without a team. I don't give a shit what anybody tells you. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you how yes. confident you are in yourself. At some point in time, there's going to be the team, and you won't win big until you build one and you build a great one. All right. So, uh, real quick, T right. Diamonds. Shout out to the team, man. Shout out Kicked Out. I love y'all. All right. Big ups to them. So uh, one more time, give out your social media and your website, and we'll get ready to let you roll out. Everything at It's T Diamonds. Instagram, It's T Diamonds. Twitter, It's T Diamonds. It's my URL, slash It's T Diamonds. You can see all the words that I put out so far. And um, yeah, we're going to make it work. Go cut that on Apple, Google Play, Tidal. It's on everything. Spotify. And go watch the video out on YouTube right now. Shout out K100. Thank you, Blizzum, so much. Absolutely. You Congrats know what I'm saying? For sure. T Diamonds is in the building. You dig? Yeah. Yeah. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. Right. So you guys make sure you rock out with us. If, you, if you're listening to this on SoundCloud, please hit subscribe. I mean, hit follow. And if you're on YouTube, uh, hit subscribe, all right?